So your your position is that we should put to death people who have had abortions. There are certain cases that I would like to take our biblical case law and apply to each situation. So yes, I mean, so, I mean, yeah. I mean, so I mean the like, yeah. Take take an example where the guy, you know, the whole shout your abortion thing, and you've right. got, you know, say you've got a lady that's, you know, on her sixth one. She takes pictures of the ultrasound. It's a baby. I'm going to go kill it. And she goes to Planned Parenthood and she does it. And I mean, takes a picture of herself doing it I, at Planned Parenthood. I would absolutely say that at some point, there's absolutely a first degree capital murder going on in that kind of situation. Now, and, this, and there needs to be a fair trial. And, so they're making it easy least, for him. She's proud of it. She wants to kill kids. She knows it's a kid. She wants to kill it. She's she's excited about it. She's going to take pictures of the time when she killed her kid and all that. They're making it as easy as possible. That's the law. What does wisdom least, say? Just if we if we follow case law, we recognize that um, not every murder is first degree murder. That's right. And so that has to be judiciously, you know, proven yes, in the court. Fo- if you follow case law in a court of law, <laughs> um, but he's just saying it should be on on the table if a murder has taken place. But you're saying it shouldn't be. I'm saying I, th- I honestly, brothers, I've I've never thought about this particular hmm. question. Uh, I'd, I'd be reluctant to kind of rush out and and speak in a matter i've not given frankly any thought to my instinct is to say no i would i don't think she would be should be my instinct is to say that there's going to be a number of other considerations at play that should weigh into that particular judgment okay you know jonathan just uh, so, let, let me so, no. so but, we're going to stop right there um knox is about to get into it but this is what happens when you allow wisdom to essentially replace god your wisdom replaces God's wisdom. In the case of murder, there is no question. God says it is life for life. In the case of first degree murder, malice of forethought, the whole thing, right? Life for life. You take a life, you get your life is taken. Jonathan Lehman can look at the passage that teaches that. That principle, it's life for life. Lehman can look at that and say, the government has the authority to cancel church. The government has the authority to shut down the Lord's Day worship. If there's a sickness out there, the government has the authority to quarantine healthy people. He can draw all kinds of stuff from the verse that talks about capital punishment in the case of murder. But what he can't do is find out that if you murder your own child, that your life should be taken. He can't find that in there. Guys, this is why I call him a sneak. It gives me no pleasure to call the Nine Marks director, whatever his title is, a snake. But you can't tell me that someone can look at the verse verse on capital punishment. He can't figure out if he should apply capital punishment to someone who murders their own child. But he can draw all that other stuff, all that liberal stuff out of it as well that's why i call him a snake i didn't just wake up one day and decide well i'm gonna i'm gonna hate on jonathan lehman that's not how it went down man that's not how it went down and it gives me no pleasure to talk about it like this because this is um what troubles me about this is that i know how influential this guy has been to so many of you and i don't want you to follow him down this path this is the path that has no return There's no return from this.